A cast is a rigid casing used to immobilize a part of the body. Casts are used most commonly to aid a bone fracture in healing, but also after certain types of surgeries. Partial casts, called splints, are used to hold extremities in place. Synthetic materials are more common than the traditional plaster in today's casting because the materials are lighter, are not damaged as easily if they get wet, and also cost efficiency. Here are the supplies that you will need to gather before you apply a cast. It is important to have all of your tools and supplies that you need close to you and ready before the application of a cast. You will need stockinette, two different sizes, bandage scissors, cast padding, disposable gloves, fiberglass material, and a basin with warm room temperature water. Hi, Ron. Hi. My name is Jamie and I'm a medical assistant. And I'm First thing you want to do is greet your patient. You will need to identify yourself. You will need to ask for the patient's first and last name and date of birth. Have you ever had a cast on before? I have, on my arm. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be putting one on your leg here. You will need to explain to the patient how you will be applying the cast and what they will need to do to assist you. The first step is that you will need to sanitize your hands. Of padding, and then after the padding, I'm going to do the fiberglass. Okay. Okay. How is the, the extremity that you are casting must be exposed and in an area that you can work with it from all sides. You need to apply a stockinette. You need to cut it two to three times the length of the extremity that you are applying the cast so that you have extra material for the top and the bottom of the cast application. Roll the stockinette and place it on the extremity that you will be casting. It's important to have all wrinkles out of the stockinette so that when the padding is applied, there will not be bunches of material that could cause possible rubbing on the extremity. You want to make sure that you have an excess amount of at least two to three inches at the top and at the bottom end of the cast by the toes. You will need to make a cut on either side of the malleolus and cut across so that you can lay the stockinette flat. You want to smooth out the stockinette so that there are not any wrinkles and the extremity is not exposed. The next thing you need to do is apply the cast padding. The cast padding needs to be applied and rolled evenly all the way up the extremity. You need to take extra care to put extra padding on the bony prominences. The padding is applied in a spiral fashion. At each turn when there is extra padding at the side, you can rip it away so that it is smooth. So apply two to three layers of casting pad on the extremity. In this case, you want to keep the ankle at dorsiflexion of 90 degrees. Apply a final layer of padding over the entire extremity. Next you need to apply disposable gloves. Open each cast bandage package immediately before submersing in water so the resin does not begin to harden. Immerse cast bandage and then squeeze out excess water. Application begins at the distal end of the extremity by wrapping the fiberglass material in a spiral fashion with even pressure. Smooth out all wrinkles on the fiberglass cast.
you'll need to smooth out the fiberglass material over the entire extremity. You are going to make two cuts at the padding material and trim the excess stockinette. You will then pull this back onto the casting material. This will create a smooth surface for the top and the bottom of the cast. Again, cut away the excess stockinette so that you have about a one inch layer covering the fiberglass material. You're going to want to do this at the top of the cast as well. Again, cutting the padding material, folding it down onto the fiberglass material, and then bringing the stockinette down as well onto the extremity. Once you have prepared the top and the bottom of the cast, you will then apply a final roll of fiberglass material all the way down the entire extremity. With the final application of the fiberglass material, you may start at the top or the bottom of the extremity. After you have applied the cast, you need to check for circulation and movement, in this case with the patient's toes. Have the patient wiggle their toes and also check for capillary refill to assess circulation. Here are the patient care instructions that should be given to the patient before they leave the doctor's office. Wait one hour before putting weight on the cast. Keep the extremity elevated for 24 to 48 hours. Do not damage the cast. Do not get it wet. Do not put anything into the cast, such as a coat hanger or powder, to scratch an itch or other sensations that you may have. You may use a blow dryer on cool to blow air through the cast to help with itching. You will need to move your fingers or toes regularly. Contact the physician if there is increased pain, numbness, swelling, tingling, paleness, or blueness of the extremity.